feels like a hot oven outside. It's September, which means that the pumpkin season is officially open for this year, no matter where you live. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Oksana and in today's video, I'm super excited to share with you how I decorated my living room for fall. And there will be also a small makeover of an empty corner I had in my living room, which I transformed into a very cozy reading nook. I've been waiting for so long to finally finish my living room design and now when everything was finally set and complete, for the first time I had a desire to decorate my home for the fall season, which is something I have never done before. I had only ever decorated for Christmas. I know maybe it's weird, but that's just how it's been for me. So it follows that I don't have any fall decorations from previous years, I'm literally starting from scratch. But at the same time, I'm not in a hurry to buy a bunch of random stuff. I want to build up my fall decor collection slowly and only getting things that I really love and will enjoy for years to come. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Here are a few shots of how my living room looked before I started decorating. And this is the empty corner I was talking about. I thought that this is the perfect place to make a reading nook. And also it would be really nice to have one extra seat across from the sofa. I don't have enough space to create like a whole big conversation area in this living room, but having at least one chair opposite the sofa would be a really nice addition. And to begin with, I want to place a piece of art in this corner because I want to balance the wall to the left of the TV. As you can see, there is a mirror on the right, so I want to achieve a kind of symmetry and balance. And I want it to be a frame where I could switch between different pictures whenever I want. But you probably know that custom large frames can be very expensive. And I definitely need a large size here. So I came up with this crazy idea to buy a random wall art from Home Goods that came in a frame I liked and was the right size for me. Then take out the actual art and just use the frame. And believe it or not, but I actually managed to find this really nice frame in the exact size I needed on their website. So this frame is 29 by 29 inches and it cost me $80. But I want to say that even though I'm quite pleased with how the frame turned out, guys, I can't really recommend anyone following my idea because I had a lot of headache to make a frame out of this wall art. Every layer was glued together and there were hundreds of staples attaching everything to the frame. So I had to remove all the staples first, then I used a hair dryer to carefully separate the cardboard backing from the art. Then I carefully cut the art out of the mat. Also I had to purchase this special spring clips to secure the picture inside the frame. And I had to put these strips of paper because I couldn't remove the glue. So it was quite a process and a headache to be honest. <laughs> so I don't advise anyone to do this, I just share what I did myself. But I think I saved a pretty good amount of money because frames with this design and size could easily go for $300 and more. Another thing that was a must for me was having that white mat in the frame because in my opinion it really takes any wall art up a notch. It adds a contrast with the white that makes the actual art stand out and pop. For the insert I found this stunning autumn landscape painting on Etsy, had it printed and I'm absolutely in love with how it came out. I made sure to hand the picture at the same level as the mirror and now you can see that there is symmetry and balance on this wall which is always very pleasing to the eye. Next up was the floor lamp. This is a target lamp from the Studio Magi collection. I really like the design of this lamp, but to be honest, the quality is not there. The lamp shade is kind of wonky and crooked and the lamp itself isn't perfectly straight either. 
So if you're looking for a good quality lamp, this might not be the best choice, but I really like the design, so I decided to stick with it. And finally, the star of this reading nook is my new chair. I am in love with this chair. It's super comfy and spacious. Not too soft, but not too firm either. I also really like the design. It's modern, but not too modern and trendy. It has very simple and clean uh, shapes and I think it will easily fit into any interior style. I went for a corduroy fabric because I have a cat and I wanted something more durable. It's from Wayfair and I got it on a really good summer sale so I couldn't be more happy about it. I also purchased this cute side table for my chair so that I have somewhere to put a Mac or a book. Please disregard my windows, our building is going through a balcony renovation and they're painting them right now. I decided that I needed to add something uh, darker here to a little bit break up uh, kind of light and neutral tones in the room, so I went for a table in a dark wood shade. This table feels really solid, it's stable and quite heavy, and in my opinion it looks much more expensive than it costs. It's also from Target, but part of the Hard and Hand collection. To decorate the table I bought this vase from Hobby Lobby. I was actually shocked at how much beautiful pottery they offer now that can honestly compete with pieces from Pottery Barn, Crate and Barrel and others, but of course at the fraction of the price. So I was seriously impressed the last time I was there. And for the vase I got these yellow flower stems. I believe they called butterfly orchids. I found them on the Chinese website called AliExpress. Something interesting I've noticed is that whenever I make an image Google search for pretty much any stems from Amazon, I often find the exact same ones on AliExpress, but of course at a significantly lower price. So if you want to save some money and don't mind waiting a bit longer for delivery, it's definitely worth checking their website for flower stems. These particular stems arrived at my doorstep in just 7 days, which I think is not bad at all. These are certainly not the most realistic flowers, but not the most fake ones either. They are very fluffy and full. Um, when I was in the Hobby Lobby, I did spot something similar, but their flowers are made from thin fabric and don't have those lovely brown centers like these do. And the texture of these flowers more look like uh, faux leather, I would say. And you might say that these are not fall flowers, but I wanted to bring bright and cheerful autumn colors, not the dull and dried kind. I love the warm and colorful side of fall with all its glorious colors. And also, I like that I can definitely use these stems not just during fall, but all year round. Of course, I'm adding a throw blanket and pillow for extra coziness to the chair. This beautiful velvet pillow I also found on the Home Goods website. It's a feather filled pillow with a removable cover, and let me tell you, the quality is amazing. The fabric is very thick and soft and is just very well made. I've seen very similar pillows at Great and Barrel and West Elm in person, and trust me, this one is just as good. I snagged it for only $25. But of course, in this color, it was sold out in a matter of days. But I believe there is still the same pillow available in different colors, so I'll try to leave a link for you guys. And this little corner I decorate with my one and only pumpkin resident at the moment. To be honest, I'm not a huge pumpkin enthusiast, <laughs> although I really like when they decorate the porch or outside spaces. But who knows, maybe next year I'll succumb to the pumpkin takeover and decorate every corner with them. Let me know how many pumpkins do you have in your house, I would be very interested to know. And the final touch that completes my reading nook is this ottoman. I really wanted to have a spot to put uh, my feet up when I'm all snuggled up in this chair, so I had to get it. This one is from Target's Heart and Hand collection. I really like this brown leather trim. I think it adds such a stylish touch and kind of ties the accent table and cushion together into a 
cohesive look. All right, let's move on to the next spot, my console table slash cabinet. I changed a few books for ones with darker shades on the covers. At Hobby Lobby, I found this gorgeous amber glass candlesticks. They are so beautiful and have a really nice weight to them. And this amber glass does this lovely dance with light shimmering in all kinds of various shades. I love them so much. And to complement these candlesticks, I grabbed these beautiful bright white candles for a nice contrast, also from Hobby Lobby. Now, my base here is quite big and tall, as you can see, so I always have to consider whether the inserts will be the right size for it. Personally, I prefer when the stems in the vase are taller than the vase itself. It just seems like a more balanced look to me. And also I like adding decor that adds some hate to the room. So I went to Hobby Lobby and basically looked for the tallest stems they had in the fall section. I found these and they are huge. There were two colors, red and yellow, so I got three reds and one yellow. And I think four stems are pretty enough for this vase. I think these stems have a really chic look and beautiful rich colors. It's kind of surprising that I haven't spotted them on any Instagram or YouTube bloggers. Personally, I think that they look very stylish and they're definitely a great find considering their size and price. Next up, let's spruce up the sofa. I want to bring some fall wipes with different textures and patterns, but I'm not going to change the color scheme much. I want to keep it light and simple on the sofa. So all my pillows are feather pillows. I just can't stand polyester ones because I need proper back support. So I stop buying throw pillows if they don't have removable covers. And to avoid feathers poking me, I just got these special covers for all my pillows that don't let feathers go through. And ever since I got them, this problem no longer exists for me. So if you also have feather pillows, I really recommend getting these covers. They're super affordable too. This small pillow from Target, it's 18 by 18 inches with my insert, of course, and this large pillowcase I believe it's 23 by 23 inches. I got recently from Crate and Barrel on clearance for only $16. Can you believe it? It's made with 90% uh, natural wool. It's very thick and very well made. So I think it's such a good find. Also, I'd like to mention that all my pillows are actually two and sometimes even four inches bigger than the pillowcases. That's why they look so plump and full. In this corner, I'm just switching out a small pillow for the lumber one from Target, but also with my own feather insert and throwing a blanket from Home Goods. The last place left to decorate is my coffee table, but before that, I want to do a little DIY. So I bought these potted herbs at Target back in spring, and it's been sitting here on my TV stand. Although I like the pot, the greens are just not my favorite. So I thought, why not make a fresh arrangement for the fall in it? Especially since the stems aren't glued, they're just stuck into the foam and can be easily taken out. So I had this stem with a bunch of small flowers from last year from Hobby Lobby, but I wasn't quite sure where to put it. It's already quite full and has a lot of different stuff, so I thought it would be ideal for making a small arrangement out of it. I split this stem into smaller parts, trimmed them a little bit, and just like herbs, I stuck them into the styrofoam without any gluing. I aimed for an asymmetrical look and I'm quite pleased with how it came together. It's really fluffy and looks quite lovely. However, I'm keeping all the herbs safe just in case I decide to switch things back. All right, back to the coffee table. Here's the tray that was here before. Then I added the new flower pot, a few coasters, everyday essentials, and a little candle. I also got this book recently and I am obsessed. It's so beautiful and such a statement piece. I had it in my Amazon cart for a while and I realized that its colors are just perfect fall colors. So finally it's mine and 
I can't wait to flip through its pages on those cozy fall evenings and expand my art knowledge. And the last thing I add to the coffee table is my aroma diffuser. This was a gift to myself last year as it's definitely a splurge, but it's hands down the most stunning diffuser I've come across and I absolutely love having it around every single day. Alright guys, the room is all dressed up for fall. I hope you had a good time watching and picked up some inspiration for your own decorating. Let me know in the comments if you deck out your home for fall. If you do, when do you start to decorate? If you go all out or just use bare minimum, I'm really curious to hear from you. And if you haven't done so already, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because your support means a lot and really encourages me to create more content for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. I could stop the time, don't you know?